Thanks very much for watching On Point. The Johannesburg Magistrate Court has dismissed former Social Development Minister Batabi Ledlamini's application to have, her acquitted, to have her acquitted in her perjury case. The case relates to her testimony during an inquiry to the, in the Constitutional Court uh, had instituted into her role in the 2017 social grants crisis. She's accused of lying under oath. The state has concluded its case. Let's take you live there. Hi Zoleka, this is Nompu Melelo. Can you hear me? Please just tell us about the proceedings. Yes, I'm... Uh um, yes, Nombu, um, we, I can hear you. You are correct. Um, the um, judge in the case against um, former Social Development Minister Batabile Lamini has dismissed her application to have um, her perjury case um, discharged. We know that this case relates to the 2017 um, Social Grant Saga uh, where the Constitutional Court had an inquiry that would um, investigate her role into um, the crisis um, um, the state has concluded its case, and we are now joined by the suspended Secretary General of the ANC, who is here to support the um, former Social Development Minister, Batabile Ramini. Good afternoon. Afternoon, and afternoon to your viewers. Um, okay, so you're here to support um, the former Social Development Minister. Tell us the basis of your support. Well, she's a colleague. She's a part of our National Executive Committee. Uh, uh, she has been a leader of the ANC for many years. She's the president of the Women's League. And she deserves our support. Um, is this an honest case, or do you think that this is driven by um, the factionalization within the ANC? Well, uh, let's, let's watch and see. Uh, uh, so that uh, we are able to to decide. Uh, I'm sure the South African public uh, understand what is happening in South Africa today. So rather than say any other thing, uh, let me stick to my support and our support uh, as people who are coming to support uh, President Batavid. Okay. In your support for her, you know that the, the magistrate has um, dismissed her um, appeal, her, her application to have the um, case discharged. Um, what is your response to that? Well, the case is still on. Um, obviously, in legal situations, there are certain things you contest. You apply for, for this one to be dismissed or... Uh, so whatever the magistrate has decided, uh, the case is still going on. The ANC is having its national policy conference um, next year. What are your plans? We know that um, amongst these conferences um, is where the step-aside resolution was put in place and was instituted by the ANC. What are your plans going forward? Well, my plans are not my individual plans. Uh, let's see what the, the structures of the ANC will do and decide. Uh, it's, it's up to the ANC branches uh, because the ANC basic unit is a branch. You are also in court for my SG, I mean, um, uh, suspended um, SG on a separate matter that is in relation to um, the asbestos and alleged corruption in the asbestos um, project in the free state. Um, are you continuing with your appeal? Have you abandoned that? Which appeal? And we understand that you um, have uh, considered appealing the, the, uh, the charges that have been um, placed against you. Well, there are no charges against me. There are no witnesses against me. Fabricated case, political, and um, as the officials of the NC has once said, uh, flimsy charges. And that's why we are dealing with that matter. And uh, surprisingly, the, even the U.S. embassy is involved, the CIA, FBI. You can see the political part I'm talking about. But uh, the, the truth will always prevail. Finally, um, on Wednesday, the, uh, earlier this week, um, we had the High Court in Pretoria um, saying that the charges 
the, uh, and that um, former President Jacob Zuma must go back to jail and that the charges still stand and he must complete his 15-month sentence and that um, the time that he has spent out of jail um, does not count for the fulfillment of his sentence. Um, we know that the ANC has responded saying that um, they will wait for the Department of Correctional Services to um, respond. The department has said that they are going to appeal the decision. What is your stance on this? Well, I think the department is doing the right thing. Uh, President Zuma did not uh, apply for any medical parole himself. Um, so let's, let's wait and see. Um, but the South African public, uh, people in general, I don't think they will be misled. And um, this is the time for all South Africans, uh, specifically branches of the ANC, throughout the country, with no exception, to support uh, President uh, Zuma. Thank you so much, Stu. Well, Nompu, that was the suspended Secretary General of the ANC just giving us his um, understanding of the events that are unfolding in the Johannesburg Magistrates Court um, this morning and afternoon, and also responding to um, the case involving the former President Jacob Zuma, in which he was said um, to, that he should return to, to jail to complete his 15 month sentence. We are awaiting, I think, um, court uh, proceedings are continuing. Um, we are awaiting awaiting the next witness um, who is on the stand, Zotam Vulane. Um, we understand that she is on the stand um, for the defense and they will be continuing with their cross-examination um, of her testimony. Thanks very much, my colleague there, Zoleka Godashe, giving us that report. We're going to go for a quick break. We'll have more news for you thereafter. <laughs>